everyone, my name is Caitlin. I'm an interpretive naturalist with the Lake Metro Parks, and I'm currently at Indian Point Park. Now, there's all sorts of beautiful things around me. I'm in short sleeves and the sun is shining. There's a slight breeze, and it is awesome out here. So today, you might think I'm gonna to talk to you about birds, but actually, I'm gonna use these binoculars for something else. They're gonna help me identify trees. So today, that's the topic. We're gonna to talk about trees. So a few things, some basic things when you're keeping in mind on how to identify those trees, you gotta look at what you're standing on. You need to look at what type, type of bark they have. You know, are they in the woods? Are they along the stream? There's all sorts of different things to be able to look at. So what I first wanna point out to you, I am currently along the stream at Indian Point Park. So I'm on the lower lot and I'm close by the water. If you look across the way, if we zoom in, you will see a very rocky, a rocky soil. That is what these trees are growing on. So specific trees such as sycamores, such as black walnuts and locust trees, they grow in this sort of habitat. When we go in a little bit up to the upper portion, you're gonna see something totally different. So what I wanna point out to you is right over here, we are gonna go ahead and check out a couple of these trees. All right. So it's a little windy, I had to put some rocks down for me so my leaves don't blow away. All right, what we got here is a basswood leaf. This is the easiest way to tell a tree is usually by the type of leaf, by the shape of their leaf. So a basswood leaf has an unique, uneven base. The leaf is attaches at the base in an uneven way. So if you look, this one kind of sticks out further than this one. It also has some teeth to it. It's very flimsy, so it's not a super thick leaf, and that is your basic basswood. You will also find them around a stream. Then what you've got here is an elm. You'll find them in more wet areas. It's got, the key thing about an elm is the, the texture of it. It's very soft in a lot of ways, or in some of them, they're actually a little bit rougher depending on the species. So this is your elm. And then the last leaf I wanna show you is this one. This is a hickory leaf. So they are what we call a compound. There's multiple leaves on one stem. So here is a simple leaf, here is a compound leaf. So it is your hickory. It's very, uh, it's much easier to tell if it's a hickory based on the shape of it and based on the fact that it's compound. All right, one other thing you can do is you can look at the trees and identify them by bark not easy but if you learn it it's definitely useful look over here first off i'm not touching this that's poison ivy i'm gonna avoid that but if we look at this bark here you can look at it look at it right here it kind of flakes off you'll see it flakes off very easy but if you pan up to the top you're gonna start to see that the tree has whitish bark the bark is flaking off to produce more white skeleton-like tree. So that is actually your sycamore. It is a very easy tree to identify by bark. There's other trees that are much tougher, but if you can learn by bark, you are, you are way ahead of the game. That's awesome. So what we're gonna do now is we are actually going to hike up to the top on the upper portion of Indian Point, and we're gonna point out a couple other things. So I'll meet you up there. All right, so we hiked up to Indian Point, the upper lot, and I'm trying to identify trees that are much, much taller than me. And I mentioned my binoculars earlier that, yeah, I use them for birding, but I also am using them to help me identify those trees. So I'm able to get much closer to what the leaves look like. And what I'm looking at, the tree specifically, is a sugar maple. So we're actually gonna look at a small seedling, which is right over here, and I'm gonna point out what they actually look like. All right, so there's a bunch of seedlings around here that of all different types of species, but especially sugar maples. So right here, we've got a cute little one with all cute little leaves. And this is what the leaf looks like. It almost looks like a palm, and then it's got the points to it. There are also red maples, sugar maples, black maples. There's all different types, but this specific one is the sugar maple. Learn this one and you'll be pretty good on identifying your trees. That's a very common one to see. Also your red oaks are very common to see as well. Now the last tree I'm going to point out before I say goodbye is this one. 
This is different from everything we've been seeing. Right here is a hemlock tree. They don't have leaves, they have needles. This here is an evergreen. An evergreen is a general term to refer to the fact that this tree will remain green year round. So even when there's snow and all the other trees are bare and don't have any leaves, this one will still have its green. Like I said, it's called a hemlock and it's also an evergreen. So there you have it. Here's the bark of that evergreen hemlock tree. If you identify that by bark, that's awesome as well. But I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you get out to the park to see all these amazing trees. Bring a guide and that'll help you as well. You have different types of books, you have different types of things that can help you identify it. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.